So, four stages of vocal tonality. This is something I get asked a lot. I was listening to a recording of uh, me speaking at the Successfulness Conference in Las Vegas, and I brought up the four stages of vocal tonality. And my friend Stephen Grosch said, oh, it's so good. The point that you made about vocal tonality is like something that he teaches his students. So, I'll share it with you now, right? What is vocal tonality? So, vocal tonality is how we... Um, how our voice sounds, which is like speed, pitch, tempo, volume, timbre, right? How quickly we're speaking, how loudly we're speaking, that kind of thing. You know, there's a difference between this guy and the guy that speaks like this. And this can, uh, this can be calculated. The three most important things that a guy that wants to learn about seduction uh, needs to know are volume, speed, and pitch. So volume is how loud you're speaking. If you're shouting in a restaurant, or if you're speaking very softly. Uh, the second thing is uh, speed. How quickly you're speaking. Are you speaking really quickly? A lot of guys are really, really guilty of speaking very quickly because they don't want people to like forget what they're saying, right? And then pitch. And pitch is how high or how low your voice is. As you go through your seduction journey, as you go through a seduction with a, a woman, when you first meet her, to when you're involved in a sexual situation, um, your vocal tonality, your speed, pitch, and volume will change. And they do this kind of interesting thing where they decline. From the very beginning, your volume, your speed, and your pitch are going to be at their highest. So you're going to be speaking the fastest, you're going to be speaking the loudest, and you're going to be speaking with uh, a high pitch. This is like when you meet somebody. Hey, how's it going? You guys having fun? Wow, that's great. Most of the times in clubs or bars, you're competing with alcohol or music. I'm competing with music right now, or lots of lights or whatever. But even in person, you want to keep your volume, speed, and pitch quite a bit higher than in a sexual situation, right? So we break it into four stages. One, when you meet somebody. Two, when you're bantering or joking around. Three, when you're in comfort, right? When you're speaking about more comfortable topics or more emotional topics. And four, when you're speaking about sexuality. And those are literally just stages of how you reduce what you're saying, your vocal tonality or your pitch, uh, you know, your speed, pitch, and volume. So when we meet somebody, it's, hey, how are you doing? Wow, you guys are having fun tonight. This is great. Are you, what are you guys doing? Are you celebrating something interesting? Once you've reached uh, a point where you can now move away from your approach, which is fairly quickly, now you're sort of bantering with somebody. You're using a lot of your cocky funny lines, whatever you know system you subscribe to. Uh, you're telling your funny stories. You're joking around a lot. That's when we're going to go, oh, hey, girls, what's going on? You guys having fun? Oh, geez, you're the bad one, aren't you? Oh, I bet you are. Is she always like this? Oh, this place is cool. Oh, I never do this. I'm a dis disposable lighter repairman. Whatever you're saying, you can tell that your volume and your speed and your pitch are a little bit lower. You're not as loud, you're speaking a little bit slower, and your pitch is not as high, and I'll go through this in a full example. Then when you're in comfort, right, when you're getting to know a girl, when you're really discovering things about that girl, we say, um, when, when we are, uh, you know, when we're learning about her. At Art of the Playboy, we talk about learning about the girl and getting to know her and whether we actually want her. We're going to be uh, touching on more delicate topics, right? Slower topics and smaller topics that are going to be uh, more emotional, right? So how does that make you feel? Is this something that you're interested in? If you could do anything in the world, what would it be? And you can tell that right now when I'm speaking, my voice is lower, it's slower, and it's not as loud, meaning my pitch is down, my volume is down, and my speed is down as well. Then, when we get into sexuality, when we're talking dirty with a girl, when we're seducing a girl, sed excuse me, seducing a girl, we're speaking quite a bit lower, quite a bit slower, and obviously our pitch is quite a bit farther down. 
this compared to when we first meet somebody, wow, how are you guys doing? Jeez, this is exciting. What a great club or what a great bar. Are you guys always here? Then we move into banter and we're speaking a little bit slower, but it's kind of that, oh, teasing and cheesy and oh, maybe we're making some jokes. and. Then we move into comfort, where we're really trying to get to know that girl, and we're, touch, uh, we're touching on some emotional concepts, versus when we're in sexuality, and we're speaking low, and we're speaking slow, and we're connecting in that way. So super easy to break it into four stages, right? Um, the approach, when you're joking around, when you're getting to know a girl in comfort, however you subscribe, uh, and sexuality. So volume, speed, pitch, start here, right? If you were, I guess we gotta do it backwards. If you're starting here at the very beginning, we move all the way down to as low and as slow as you possibly can. So there's my four stages. Maybe that'll help. Thanks for watching. For more information, head on over to artoftheplayboy.com and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.